Hi, I'm Jim Wells, and I'm a member of the Best of Us Investors Network. I hope you will join us and become a part of our community. This is my 18th video with the Best of Us Investors Network. My first video was on the area of decentralization, because I felt it was so important to understand the main goal, really, of Satoshi Nakamoto's, which he believed in a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized world network or currency. The thumbnail was the Bitcoin revolution. My talk was about the goal of decentralization. Cardano in Africa is making this goal a reality. The people of Africa have been slaves to centralization. They have had no way to have an identity, a bank account, process payments, or engage in finance. 78% of the world are not connected to the internet. One billion people are unbanked. The highest percentage of people are on the continent of Africa. It is by far the most underdeveloped place in the world. Cardano is paving the way for equal access for consideration, consideration to people in participating in the global economy. Cardano is being adopted in Africa and is delivering on their promises. People can have their own permissionless banks and identity. This is decentralization the way it was meant to be. We'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Jim Wells. Cardano and Internet Online Hong Kong, IOHK, which is basically the research team behind Cardano, has improved blockchain technology and the quality of integration in Africa. They've made a huge investment in education and research through blockchain technology. The government of Ethiopia has closed a deal with the Ministry of Education. Cardano has, is going to include 5 million students using a technology called PRISM integration in the Cardano blockchain. Every student will have a digital ID called a DID, D-I-D, that will carry with them throughout the, their academic lives. This ID can then be used for payments, property, and voting, and all other matters of their economic life. This will work and be inspired in the system for 107 million Ethiopians to have IDs. This is an aligned goal with the Ethiopian government and Cardano. So actually a country is working with the blockchain technology in Africa. A little bit different than what's happening in the US right now. IOHK is a Prism digital ID with a mobile phone will enable authorities to create a tamper-proof record of educational performance for 5 million students, 3,500 3, schools, and 750,000 teachers to interact with government services. Schools will be able to monitor attendance. Students will be able to digitally connect to their schools for learning. Their data and grades will be secured, stored, and shared with universities and employers. Once they have IDs, the IDs are the key for identity so that they are recognized in the country and on, on the global scale. Practical applications to provide banking and insurance for financial inclusions. They will even be able to build a credit history. The other project that they are working on that was announced was World Mobile, the first mobile network built on the Cardano blockchain. It's launching in Zanzibar and Tanzania. Data that's half the price and twice as fast. A remote village in Tanzania is a living example that when communities have the power to connect themselves, they can do remarkable things. After a year, local fishermen have grown their businesses, quintupled their profits, and tripled their shops and bars. The whole idea is to promote open finance, loans, and insurance. They coined the term real fi. They're actually 
helping with true finance and connecting them to banks and financial institutions in that area, in Tanzania. So, connecting the unconnected is the whole mantra behind World Mobile. Once you've connected the unconnected, you can get, give everyone a digital ID through the Ateliprism app. It's an app that you actually download on your phone. And then they are able to be banked. And that is the next goal, to bank the unbanked. Access through their mobile devices to finance, markets, and trading. You should be excited about this if you are interested in cryptocurrency. That is the whole goal of decentralization and really what the, the main goal of cryptocurrency really was. All the way back to Satoshi Nakamoto, this is what he talked about. Peer-to-peer -peer ecosystem, global network where you don't have to depend on banks, that you have your own identity, that you're able to send it anywhere in the world and to be a part of the free market system. This plan is decentralized from any type of corruption of government with the approval of the African government. It's a bottom-up plan that works through the people. In addition, they've also combined with Singularity.net and ICOG Labs. Singularity is into AI and advanced robotics. And Cardano are working together with Singularity. They're actually sharing office space. They're using technology, Singularity is using technology to grow crops through the use of robotics and blockchain. They announced the AGI token will be on the Cardano blockchain. Cardano is making inroads to businesses and people in the community of Africa. There is a project called Grow Cardano, Grow Africa. And all the projects that I've mentioned before are basically being promoted by the people and the businesses and the infrastructure of Ethiopia and Tanzania and other parts of Africa. They're also involved in the Save the Children organization. There is a mission-driven pool that has donated over $500 million in Cardano, in ADA tokens. Through the Cody partnership, partnership with, the, uh, with Cody, they help third parties like Save the Children to receive and execute crypto payments. They went on to talk about, there was an actual panel um, in, in Cardano, Africa, in the video, that talked about, it was a panel that talked about where they saw Africa going by the year 2025. Charles Hoskinson was on the panel along with other people that are basically involved in the peer review of Cardano. Data supports the long-term economic development, literacy rates, and connectivity. Big industries and institutions are coming into Africa. The Cardano Protocol is looking at people looking to solve problems along with their technology. The world is all about collaboration. Cardano has a business plan and, a ma and matches the world. Open finance to farmers at lower rates than the banks can currently offer. That is one of their goals. The Prime Minister of Africa is actually a cryptographer. So he buys in to everything Cardano is doing. And he understands how good it is to connect their country. I would bet on a young country that is filled with optimism and growing. They also launched a website called africa.cardano.org. The purpose of this website is for people to learn how to use the Haskell program to actually use smart contracts. This is supposed to be extremely user-friendly, much more easy to use than the current smart contracts that are being issued on Ethereum. Charles Hoskinson believes that as this technology grows, in the next five years, these promises 
that Cardano has made can be turned into a brand new business model with advanced languages like Haskell for everyone and are all being validated by peer review. Do you want to be about investing in a culture that is building and making lives better? Cardano IOHK are doing things with intelligence, collaboration, and morality. They're using a systematic process to implement Cardano ADA in Africa. They're using their people and infrastructure to support their system. How can you not support the fact that they are being charitable and improving people's lives? They are also doing a great job of promoting how and what they are doing through Cardano 360, Cardano Africa, and all their support networks and their plans moving forward. In addition, their third generation technology is more advanced and being utilized in a country where it is intended to be used. They are, also, they are also educating people on how to use their technology. I believe this is, a, is going to spread through Africa and third world countries like a wildfire. In addition, from an investment standpoint, over 70% of Cardano's ADA token is staked. I believe most people see and understand that Cardano is a long-term investment. It doesn't make it bulletproof. However, in comparison to other cryptocurrencies, I see it as being much less volatile. In addition, Cardano will be launching smart contracts with their project Alonzo very soon. It was already my second biggest holding after Bitcoin, and I just made another substantial buy. If there is a pullback, I'm ready to buy more. If you are looking for an entry point, I would encourage you to check out Dan from Crypto Capital Venture. He has his own YouTube channel. He does an excellent job of technical analysis on both Cardano and Bitcoin. He also reports on Cardano News and just recently did an interview with the CEO of Cody. I believe in this mission the proof of stake concept. And I believe in Cardano in Africa is doing what the cryptocurrency ecosystem was created for. I encourage you to join the Best of Us Investors Network, become a part of our Discord, and give me your thoughts and ideas and become a part of us. We'll see you soon.